Okay, so exploring nature and playing with wildlife is a lot of fun, but you want to make sure before you touch any animal that you ask your parents if it's even safe to touch because there's a lot of poisonous animals out in nature. There's a lot of things that they look really cute and really fun to play with, but they can do a lot of damage to you, um, such as like the rough skin newt. If you play with it too long and then you touch some food and you eat food, you can get real sick. Um, what you really want to do when you catch an animal is you want to keep him in its habitat. So wherever you find an animal such as this garter snake, we found him just right over here. So you want to make sure that you keep him close. Okay, This is his home. You wouldn't like to get taken from your home. So <laughs> he has a specific requirement that this habitat has. When you take an animal out of that habitat, they won't survive. Okay. If everybody in your neighborhood wanted a gardener snake or a garter snake because they're so cute and so much fun to play with, you wouldn't be able to walk outside and see them in their natural habitat. Okay? They have a family, they have friends, and they want to hang out with them. If you want to attract cool creatures to your backyard, you can go to the National Wildlife Federation and learn how you can make certified habitat in your backyard. So National Wildlife Federation, um, if you want to certify your home so that wildlife like this garter snake will come in they have a program where you can certify your home as a national wildlife habitat what that does is it provides shelter food and water for animals to survive in your home and outside in, of it in your backyard outside your home around your house um, and that will actually bring wildlife in and they'll come in naturally on their own so it's kind of like they're your pet but they're still wild so you can go out and enjoy nature but leaving it where it belongs. And even if you just live in an apartment building and all you have is a balcony, you can still bring um, potted plant, bird feeder, birdhouse, and some water, and you can have birds or insects visit your balcony too. It's also illegal to take wildlife home. You want to make sure that what animal you pick up isn't endangered, isn't threatened, you know, because there's a lot of rare species out in nature that a lot of people don't get to enjoy. And we're lucky as being in California to sea garter snakes and other creatures that a lot of people don't get to enjoy. Um, so you want to make sure you don't take them home because it's illegal. And you want to be really careful when you handle them because they're fragile animals and you don't want to injure them. So if you want to make fun little discoveries like finding a garter snake or playing in the water and finding frogs and tadpoles, go out in nature. You know, it's, it's a great place to grow up, to get close to all the animals and all the other things that you live with in the world. Okay but just remember that that's where they belong and you need to keep them there.